Hi, this is Cup of English's first Zoom film, and I really hope you like it. Now, the reason that I want to give a Zoom class today is because I'd like to talk to you about connected speech. And last week, I was talking about connected speech with one of my students on Zoom, and it worked really well. So I thought I would try it with you. If you watch to the end of the film, and if you can tell me in the comments section what the forget me words are, then you have the chance of winning an hour's Zoom lesson with me for free. So let's go onto our document and let's learn about connected speech. So here I am in the corner, hello. And the sentence that I would like to talk about today is, I would like a box of chocolates. Now these are seven words, but we never say them individually. We always join them together. We always connect them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the sentence and I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to put it down here. And first of all, we're going to look at the words I would. Now, I would, we can contract to I'd. It still sounds quite stilted. I'd like a box of chocolates. So let's look at these words. I'd like. I'd like. I'd like a box of chocolates. Now, of course, you can say, I'd like, and you can also say, I'd like. But if you say, I'd like, it means me specifically. I'd like a box of chocolates. What would you like? Whereas if you say, I'd like a box of chocolates, even though, of course, you're never going to write ad, we say it as if we're saying, ad, I'd like a box of chocolates. So, I'd like, we're going to connect them and we're going to take away the emphasis of the d in I'd. But we are going to put emphasis onto the all in like, I'd like. So we are taking the emphasis off the d and we're putting it onto the l, I'd like. I'd like a box of chocolates. Here, we still have, I'd like a box of chocolates. So let's look at these two words. How can we connect like and a? Well, first of all, this word, a, we never say a, we always say u, u. It's like you're relaxing all the muscles in the bottom of your jaw and you're saying u. Uh, I'd like a uh, box of chocolates. So we're going to make a uh, a forget me word. But down here, I have a list of forget me words, and a uh, is going to be the first one. So let's go back to our sentence. I'd like a box of chocolates, I'd like a, I'd like a, and we're going to now join these two words. Now, like ends with the letter E, but we don't pronounce the E in like, but we do pronounce the K in like. So we actually have to connect K to a. So here we have, I'd like a, I'd like a, instead of saying, I would like a, or instead of saying, I'd like a, we are saying, I'd like a, I'd like a. And now we have to work out how we're going to connect these two words, a box or a box. Well, these two words connect very easily. So we're just going to add a box. I'd like a box. I'd like a box. Here we have the word of. 
Now, of is another forget me word. So we're going to put it into our forget me words down here. Of. I'd like a box of, of. How can we connect box and of? Now, of, obviously the word is of, of starts with the letter O, and O is a vowel. So in the English language, we have 26 letters and we have vowels, which are A, E, I, O, U, and we have consonants, which are all the other letters. And X is a consonant and O is a vowel. So we're just going to connect those two box of and then chocolates just goes on to the end i'd like a box of chocolates so let's start at the beginning i'd becomes ad i'd like i'd like a i'd like a box i'd like a box of i'd like a box of chocolates so i would like a box of chocolates becomes I'd like a box of chocolates, please. I hope you found this lesson useful and I look forward to seeing one of you in a Zoom lesson in the near future. All you have to do if you win is send me your email address and I'll sort the rest of it out. Thanks for watching, bye for now.